Hi, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gudila and our topics today is about face of the moon. So this is the moon. This topic is for Science Year 5, Unit 9. The moon is the brightest natural satellite that you can easily identify in the sky at night. Now let's see. Have you ever seen these situations? What situations? Okay, that, that is a road and then you can see the light. Even though there is not a lamp, but there is a light. Why? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That is that things. Okay. So how these situations can be related to the moon? Okay, actually, that object reflect the light from a car during night at night pardon <laughs> okay it reflect the light from a car at night so that's why we can see the light even though it cannot produce light but it reflect the light from a car so what can be related to the moon oh let's think about these questions oh we have another questions Okay, why we only can see the moon light at night? Ha, why? Why we cannot see the light of the moon? Okay, during the daytime. Why? Okay, we will answer these questions after this. Why the moonlight is not hot as the sunlight? Okay, that's the second question. The third question, why we can see the moon at different shape in a month? Hmm, the shape is different, right? Okay, so this what will you learn in our lessons today? Now, let's see how moons work. Here, we can see the sunlight and then we on Earth can see the reflected light from, from the moon. Light coming from the moon is an illusion because we are actually seeing the reflected light from the sun bouncing off the moon which act like a mirror. This is due to the dark color and bumpy surface of the moon. The moon only reflects about 12% of the light that incidents on it. Next, we have the movement of the moon. You see, moon uh, revolve around the earth but at the same time it rotates on its axis. The moon rotates on its axis in 27 1 over 3 days from west to east but at the same time the moon move around the earth in 27 1 over 3 days from west to east to since the duration for both movement is the same, the surface of the moon facing Earth is always the same. Now, let's see these situations. The directions and the movement of the moon. The directions of rotations and revolutions of the moon is the same, that is, anti-clockwise. So, this one is the directions of the moon's rotate, the directions of the moon's rotation, the directions of the moon revolutions. Both are anti-clockwise direction. Now, let's see these situations. Why is the shape of the moon seems to look different every night? See? Look at the shape of the moon today. It's like a bright circle. Hmm, now one of her friends said, but a week ago the shape was like a semicircle. Why did it happen? Why? <laughs> so the difference in shape is called the moon phase. The phase of the moon. Half of the moon's surface is always illuminated by the sunlight. The other half is in darkness. We only see the bright part of the moon that face the earth. First, we go the new moon. During this phase, the dark part of the moon's surface is facing the earth. This phase is called new moon. We cannot see the light from the, the moon. 
Next, we move to the crescent. A small part of the moon's surface is sunlit and faces the earth. This phase is called crescent. Next, we have half moon. Half part of the bright moon's surface faces the earth. This phase is called half moon. Next, we move to the gibbous. When the moon revolves around the earth, the moon position changes with time. This causes its shape to look different from the earth. The different shapes are called the moon phase. After few time, okay, the whole illuminated part of the moon's surface faces the earth. This phase is called full moon. Next, it turn back into a keepers, turn back into half moon, back to crescent, and then back to the new moon. Okay, that is the face. The face of moon. We have some info here. The moon rises and falls at different times according to the moon phases. This causes the moon to be visible at early morning and late afternoon. Next. We have the faces of the moon in a month. So this is one, one of the example, the face of the moon in a month. If you can see in this calendar on Friday 4th, that was a new moon and then turned into crescent. And then we can see it turned into crescent and then half moon was it at uh, 13, 14 and 15 uh, Almost like that And then we can see here At 19 Okay They start to get a full moon Full moon and full moon And then it back to the keepers Back to the half moon again That was the last quarter And then back into crescent And the new moon again Okay so let's see Faces of moon in the lunar calendar New moon Usually the first and the second That is the new moon Okay, this is the new moon Where we cannot see the light from From the moon at all And then it turns into Crescent It's around 3 to 6 days After the new moon Okay, so we have waxing crescent And then we have the first quarter Which is the half moon 7 to 10 Next, we have waxing gibbous, 11 to 13. Full moon, usually around 14 to 16. And then warning gibbous is 17 to 20. And then we have third quarter. Okay. Third quarter, we have another half moon again. Okay. And then it back to warning crescent, crescent 26 to 29. Next, okay, <laughs> there's no next. Okay, you can scan the QR code below for an extra exercise. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.